Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to I'm going to be doing a shipping vlog. So me shipping down things to Jamaica. So I'm gonna show you guys the process on buying the barrels, packing the barrels, and then going to a shipping company. Just everything. So you guys have to stay tuned and make sure you guys watch this video because I'm gonna share with you guys like tips, advice, and tricks and everything like that on how to make sure that you guys ship wisely and have like have your money's worth so right now i'm in scarborough this is for people who live in ontario even if you don't live in ontario but where you are always go to the most affordable place that you know that sells barrels so i'm in scarborough they have the most affordable barrels because barrels start at 15 dollars up to 55 dollars and then usually when you go to durham so like pickering ajax and those places barrels start at like 25 and go up to 65 yes it's only a 10 dollars difference but when you're buying a lot of things for these barrels you want to save as much money as you should so we're in Scarborough and right now we're at Danforth Market if you're familiar with Ontario and especially Scarborough Toronto area you'll know about Danforth in Scarborough there are basically a lot of Caribbean stores so they sell barrels here so we're gonna go to two here there's Danforth Food Market and India Indian Town India Town it's India <laughs> India Town so we're gonna go into there and see if they have barrels today and then we're gonna go to Danforth and see if they have barrels in there so yeah come around let's go I'm just gonna go into here and see if they have any barrels oh, have any barrels in here do you guys have any um, barrels today no, no. no barrels so do you know when you're going to get barrels friday. friday all right so no barrels here Market, no. i just went to india town they said they don't have any barrels oh i don't want to have to go to durham no we're gonna go to Misachin over here at the okay. skyland because they skyland oh yeah yeah i forgot yeah. we're gonna check okay do you want me to go to Danforth? Or usually they have them outside though. No, Danforth Market, they have them at the bottom. Oh, that's what the... Okay, so I'm going to go into Danforth and ask them and check. If not Danforth, we're going to go to Skyland and see. Okay, so none of these places have barrels. So these places always have barrels. The reason why they don't have barrels is because it's during the holiday season. So if you guys are ever deciding to ship anything to Jamaica, try to avoid around November, December time. So you just want to avoid shipping around this time because everyone else is shipping around this time. So the barrels are going to be so like scarce. And if you do get them, the price is going to go up. So it's best to ship any time before because everyone's just doing this right now. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go over to the next spot. Put it on top of the, um, the plastic one and see the width difference. Oh, there isn't really. It's just one is taller than one, right? Oh, there, I think this one might be a little bit wider. Just a little bit, probably because, probably because of the covering, right? Maybe some of you are was wondering why I was picking up the barrel and putting them on top of each other. The reason why I was doing that is to check if one was bigger than the other, because sometimes the barrel is a little bit wider than the other barrel. So that's a little tip that you guys can do. Yeah, just to see if you are going to get your money's worth. We're going to this um, grocery store. We're gonna check if anything's in here. Okay, so we found some barrels here. These are waterproof, so these are really good compared to the cardboard ones. So this one is. This one's fifty. Oh, oh they're all for fifty dollars. This one's really tall, actually. Maybe you can just buy one of these. Yeah, what am I? Want to show this one? Yeah, this one's really big. It's not fifteen dollar. That's too small, though, mom. Yeah, it's cute though. This is like a garbage. <laughs> okay, it's so small. Yeah, this one's really tall, though. Okay, so that can't hold a lot. Yeah, I think so too. So the cardboard barrels, people usually um, buy them. If yes, they're more affordable, but like they're one-time use. So you just bring it, ship it, and then you throw it out. But with these ones here, they were usable. So that's why in Jamaica, you see a lot of people using them for water, for storage. This is a high And I'm 5'7". This is the price of So what we were saying in the store is that these are good for reusable. And if you're sending things to anyone in Jamaica, they would appreciate these ones because they'll put water in it. But they're more baptized people in Jamaica, now they're much lesser. Really? Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, we're going to Skyland next to go and see if they have anything here. So we're over here. They have these ones here. These ones are 62. The cardboards are 50. And then. So the cardboards are 50 dollars. Oh, so should we the paper one? Yeah. Okay, so at least we have one paper one. So these ones are shorter and wider for 50 dollars. But my mom's saying these are the 15 dollar barrels that's supposed to be $15 but they probably raised it knowing that everyone's shipping stuff yeah but the $15 ones are cardboard though oh okay okay so maybe that's why because it's reusable mm -hmm. okay so the short wide one is 50 and then these are 50 
Oh, these are 52. Mm -hmm. And they're taller, but again, they're cardboard. But oh, look here. These ones, they actually have the yeah, two and stuff for you to write on. Usually, we just write freehand. But you guys will see all that soon. So we're going to get one of these. All right, can I buy one of the barrels? The, the $50 ones? $15. Okay, I paid for it and it was only $50. Okay, so basically I spent $120 on two barrels. And usually you can get three barrels for that price plus shipping one barrel for $120? Yes. So yeah, you're gonna buy three um three cardboard barrels for um $45. Oh, yeah. So I could have bought three cardboard barrels for $45. And then I would have paid to ship one of them for $55. And have money left over from the two barrels that you just bought for $120, you said? Yeah. So this is why you guys have to try and send things before the holiday season because they know that everyone's shipping and sending from all over the Caribbean or even back to, I don't know, Sri Lanka or something. <laughs> everywhere, everyone's just shipping back to their country, yes. Somalia, yes. everywhere, right? Yes, yes. So that's why they raise the pricing. So so make sure you guys always do stuff in advance, right? But I just came down around this time, so that's why I have to pay. Guys, that's to be pumping gas. We don't do this in Jamaica. You know in Jamaica they do it for you. Okay, we're at the shipping company now. This is the shipping company we used all the way to Mississauga. So let me show you guys. This is what I'm shipping down. So some furniture for my apartment. So we're just going to start packing the barrels. So I'm going to share with you guys some tips, advice, everything. So let's go. We're going to pack the barrels here. Even though I would recommend you guys doing it from your house. And the best time is just to come early and do everything early. You guys can get some gloves as well. If you're sending them food, you can wrap it in the clothes, right? Yes. And you just put it in. See, like that. And then tape up all the oils. So with the cooking oil, even though you tape it, you don't want when you reach your, your clothes full of hair, so you're still tight in a plastic bag, like this. Because when it spills now, it stays in the bag. Your clothes won't be ruined. And I, learned, I know this because of past experience, right? Yeah, and then you wrap it again in a top. So based on past experience, she said to tape the top and then put it in a bag. Just so it can prevent, in case it does spill, even if you do tape it, it won't go over all the things yeah. that you have in the barrel. So, And then just to have more clothes in the barrel again, you just, tape, you just wrap it over it. Yeah, just so you it. can use every little space that you can yeah. get in the barrel. Okay. And then as you guys see, we do the roll method for the barrels them as well. Once it gets taller, I'll show you guys. Okay, these are shoes we're gonna give away like water boots and stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can wrap, how you can put them in the barrel and still use as much space as you can. So this is the shoes that I'm going to be demonstrating. For the inside of the shoes, you wanna put the skinnier, thinner, and smaller things. Okay, and then we're just gonna use the roll technique. Just roll it. And then sometimes you might have to hot dog it to put it inside the shoe. Roll and roll as small as you can. Then you just wanna push it in as good as you can. You might have to loosen up the, shoe, the lace. Now if you guys have any clothes that you guys don't want, you guys should send them down to Jamaica because the cost of living is so high in Jamaica. A lot of people can't afford to always just buy clothes and shoes. Sorry, even if it's clothes they can just wear in the yard or wear to bed, they'll appreciate it. What I'm saying might sound offensive, but it's not even that. People ask too. People appreciate stuff. Just reality, like a lot of people, um, they need, right? Okay, then the next thing you want to do is get something more thicker, like a jeans, and then you're just gonna wrap the outside. Okay, so you want to use every single space that you can get. So like that, and then you put it in. And as tight as you can as well. So like this, and then you put it in. Do it now, the rain boot. Just go like this. I think I should put these baby formula in a bag, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, if you guys want to save space, you guys can take the formula out of the these round tins put them in and put them in Ziploc bags and put them. And I take a picture, so whoever I'm giving it to, they will know exactly what it is. So and then you put the name on the Ziploc bag. If you want to, you don't have to. Don't pack your soap like this. Open your soap. Some people, I know people that actually takes them out of the box <laughs> and wrap them. And the, the reason why they said it saves a lot of space. And when they go to Jamaica, it's still going to open anywhere. Open anyways. Yeah, that's true. Right? Just See, look. You don't want to wrap the whole thing together if you want. But when I'm traveling with my suitcase, I actually take them out and put them in a Ziploc bag. Yeah. You well, you can do that if you know it's going to your house. Because yeah. I wouldn't care. I would have done the same thing. At the wall, they take out the soap, then that's all they got of this thing. 
Okay, so that's how it's done. And again, you use something thick. You wanna wrap up the whole. I would recommend, especially if you live in the country, free to bring water boots. Tall water boots, oh, short, stylish ones. If you wanna go out and wear rain boots, bring them. They're so useful, especially during rain season or in the early mornings, this will help. They're very handy. Yeah. Okay, you guys can um, put fabric softener in the barrels. If you guys want your things just to smell good and stay fresh and all that great stuff. This is how it's packed, to the side, to the side, to the side, to the side. Again, you're going to wrap it and put it in the bag. Yeah, that is cool. Number one year I got my clothes bleached out. Oh my god. The disinfectant bleached out the clothes. And then you wrap it again with clothes. Something dark. You want to dark color. So she's using a hat and putting things in the hat. Yeah, we put this in there too. See, everything just sits right in there. There's a lot of things I put in. Just push this in. Pull this. Pull this. And then you just put it on this other barrel. If it's done up. She's saying to make the toothpaste stand up in the barrel because sometimes, not all the time, sometimes when they lie down, it'll bust them open, especially if you have like a lot of things on top of it. All right, oh my gosh. So we bought these. They're such a good deal. So we're just going to pour them in. It's like 24 for a dollar, so we just got them. We got a lot of packs of them. If you want to them out of the package like this, it's less space. If people we... don't believe that, I'll fix them after. Okay, so just like this. Yeah, these are lights. I wonder if I remove them. I wonder if I remove them, I'll just circle them. So yeah, put these so them no much up. Okay, for the slippers then, what you want to do is put them together like this. Yeah, on, on this. You want to put stuff in here. Yeah, you I was going to say there's two ways. So you can wrap it like this and then just wrap it in general with something. Or you can just um, have them individually and then put stuff mm -hmm. individually in these things. So we're just going to do it this way for this one. And then just wrap it. Wrap it. Yeah, there's two ways with the slippers. If you want to stretch them out and you can't do them, that would be Yeah, so it's just up to you. And then we just, see, it, when it's like this, now it fits in on the little crevice on the corner of them. See, look there. Yeah, and it goes all the way down. Yeah, so if I have more slippers like that, then we can just push them in. See, if you guys want my mom to do a lifestyle channel, you guys go on her channel and comment under her videos or like this video up. Because I'm gonna, I keep on, everyone's telling her to do one so she can teach you guys everything. See, look, it's all the way pushed all the way down. Most people have just left it right beside the blue shirt here. Okay, so this is for heels. So you stuff it in, and then you wrap it. Wrap the heel, because the heel can do something. Wrap the heel. Then you wrap it. Yeah, wrap the heel, especially if you have a cardboard box. And then you'll Maybe out. something might puncture through the cardboard yeah. box. And then wrap it again. Yeah, just wrap it again. Ta-da! Well, you won't even really know there's a shoes in there. Mm -hmm. You see, if you don't wrap the heel, it damages stuff in there. Yeah. Okay, this is where we are, Q-Trex. Look how big it is. Let's go. Let's go. Cocky skin. Okay, so yeah. we're gonna make it so Most small. Are probably just like, you know? Yeah. But no, that's not how you do it. That's in my book. So all, if you need to lie down somewhere, lie down somewhere. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Roll it, roll it. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> So when it reaches this stage of the barrel, you can still put small things in like that. Yeah, and enough. just push it down. It may seem filled, but when you actually like push pressure on it, everything goes down and it'll fall down. So someone's bringing in their barrels. Okay, so when you reach, arrive to the top, just use a sweater or use something really thick. Yeah, or a sheet or something. Yeah, and just cover it. Cause you want to use every space that you can get. So this is why we tell you guys to do this the night before because it'll yeah. save you time when you come here. All you have to do is just drop off your stuff and leave. And at home you'll have more time. And I'm going to show you guys a method that we do to make sure this closes. <laughs> make sure all the pressure is down. Some people stand on it. You guys can do this too if you're flexible. You got that one on? Okay, so when you have a belt, all you do is just like wrap it in the roll yeah. that you made, just to even save more space. And then they will keep the belt good still. Yeah. Just push in here. And here's better to record for the barrel because you can actually see in here. All rolled. So then when you have on the ground, in the barrel. If you think fit, then you'll know. Because this will give them an idea if 
How many barrels, bags can hold garbage bags in one of the Okay, so we had four bags of these. Uh -huh. That's in that barrel right now so far. Okay, so this is another technique that we do. You take off your shoes and then you step in here. <laughs> the reason that you want to do this is just so you can push everything down. Yeah, so it just makes sure everything gets pushed down because as you can see things are, whoops. So when you step on it, everything can push down and then you'll have more space. Oh yeah, and you only do this when, you know, it's just only nothing that will break or spill out. So you want to do this before you put in those things. So since this, this is all clothing or fashion items, nothing is going to really break like that. <laughs> It went down more than usual. Yeah, it went down because it was up to that line right there. Sure line? Yeah, it was up oh to that line. Oh my gosh, up here. Yeah. Walk at the sides, the sides and it makes it okay, easier. Okay, so yeah, so it's compressing everything. Okay, we're gonna wrap this stand um, in close too. So these spaces here, we're gonna put these on here just to protect it, like this. So this is the idea. If you guys have so much like extra, maybe bed sheet, towel, you guys can put it like that and then you use a sweater and then you're gonna put it over it to hold it in place, right? Like that. So you guys can push stuff in these parts here. Feel the space under here? Yeah. Push things in it. Okay, then we're gonna do the same at the bottom here. Sometimes when you ship your stuff and you go down, they're broken. Yeah, to protect these. People are like, what are we doing this? Yes, to add more things in, but to protect your stuff because they'll scratch it up and break it, okay? And then they're not gonna reimburse you for all these. Yeah, they don't care. Yeah, because I've been So you can, like clothes and then you can give away the clothes to people. Oh yeah, people. And then they'll wash it and take care oh, of it. Oh, trust it. me, they will. Simple, like that. This is so good. it's time. So this is number one then. Oh, uh, we're number two. Mm -mm. So we came with for the caution thing because the only seven, well, they usually seven at dollar two. We really do use that caution too. You use this just to identify the item in case they separate it. Mm -hmm. So what we're using is the plastic from a mattress. So plastic from a mattress and we're just going to protect. So we're going to protect the touch from the sleeve. It's the plastic from the mattress. So you guys can all, if you know you ship things down often to Jamaica, you can keep these things in the user. Okay, so this is how it works. This is good. Okay, another thing that you can do is saran wrap your salt and sugar. This has a saran wrap look. So you just want to wrap them. Let me show you guys. Like this. So after saran wrapping, you just you want clothing. Okay, so this is just a dress. Okay, and then, then you just wrap. And try to cook in everything. Like this. This is how you wrap the sugar. You just saran wrap these things. If you forgot to make plastic guys. So this is we can't stand up on because it's, it's basically a lot of food. Wrap and clean. And see. So again, as you said earlier, you can't step in the barrels where it goes, that was what they're feeding because it's going to like bust open everything. So we put shelving in here, so as you can see. And then we put it in just this last as well. And then as you guys saw yesterday, we put stuff in it, wrapped it with like sweaters, and we put everything in this box. We really made it for So we have extra space in between here, as you saw. So we're just pushing some clothes in it. So we're just putting the clothes in it. And this is for like a dishwasher. So you're just putting them this in here. Mm -hmm. Like the thing you drain your dishes on. So I'm going in more things here. Put it in. Let it go with the broom. <laughs> and I push it in. Yeah, there's a lot of space at the bottom. A lot. Move it outside this one. Go on, it up. Oh, wow. <laughs> so much space that way. <laughs> it went all the way to the bottom. So we, we're just taping it so we can protect our things because in Jamaica they hand build the things rough. Or just even here too at the shipping company. Yeah. You don't know if the shipping company where you are as well. So just to make sure all your things are okay. You want to tape it up, make sure everything stays in the box. So they need to throw things down and move it quick because they're just passing quick, right? Let's do the bottom. Standing on the barrel, we just closed it. So you guys can do this to keep the barrel closed to help mm -hmm. close it. Yeah, so we got multi tape so you guys have any zip ties. So we use them to keep these together. Okay, so it's not going to go to the regular O that the barrel comes with. So you have to put it in and there's a trick with this. Okay, so yeah. I think we're done. That barrel's done. Okay, so as we told you in Dollar Tree that we buy these tapes to identify your barrel. So your barrel will stand out. So in case they do put them up and send them to like Mobay and then Kingston, you guys can use caution tape or any type of tape. There's like fancy tape at the Dollar Tree. I'm at Dollar Tree yeah. too. Okay, so now this one is if you are bringing chairs, you want to wrap it. So we're going to show you how we wrap it. Whenever she ships things like the feet are badly damaged, you scratch. You can buy the salon wrap at Walmart. And before rolls, so this one's a big one. I had it for a year. 
It's twenty dollars. If you have to protect yourself, don't depend on the shipping company. Protect yourself for you because it depends on which shipping company you go with. Some yeah. people don't really care. So this is why we have to protect our things. You see how you see some stains on it? Not stains, but um, just dirt. Leave it. So these are dirt. Yeah. Leave them so when they go to Jamaica, they'll actually believe that they're used. Yeah. And when you go to Jamaica, you know you can just hire someone to clean them for you, or you can just clean them easily yourself. So you're gonna wrap the chair. You're gonna wrap the chair. And bring it back on. And do it all over, all over. Okay, so we wrapped it, but we're going over it once more. Just to make sure everything's secure. Okay, so basically we're gonna do put it over it, and then wrap it. Okay, so this is how all the chairs are done. We have every single one of them. Okay, this one has been put in a plastic one. You want to make sure that you push it right into with every crevice. Okay, now we're going to turn on the orange paint. After she ran, I think everything, as you guys can see, look how much is left. As you can see, everyone writes their addresses different, so there's that address that you guys can't see, though. On the barrels, they write it on paper here. People put on cardboard. So when it comes to you guys collecting the things at the lot, what you guys are going to want to do is, if you want someone to call you to the place to collect it, put your name and their name on the box, okay? Because, I, I, again, I'm going to make my watch video so you guys can watch it. If you guys only have like my name on it, like Anisha Adam, they're only gonna let me into the building. But if you put my her, if you put the person that you want following you to us and your name, then they'll let both of you guys into it. Okay? So make sure you guys put two people if you want someone to follow you. Now if you don't want no one following you, then you just put your name, right? That's your tip. You can write at the top, you can write at the sides, it's up to you. So just put it on the phone, you wanna put the phone on the phone. That over there, that's all ours. Oh, you can buy your here too if you want. You can probably buy like cardboard crates here. Okay, so make sure you guys count all your pieces because you have to keep record of how much pieces you sent down. And for the immigration people, they're gonna ask how many pieces you sent down. And just to make sure like when you go to the wash, you realize, okay, I have all like seven of my pieces here. So this is someone else's. This is a skate that they put it all on. We're seeing underneath it. Yeah. So, but this. Oh yeah, so this is for the width, height, and length. All you can do for each and individual pieces. Yeah. So we're going to go clean now. So we're going to go okay. Now let's come back and tell you guys how much everything was. So when you're done shipping everything, well they usually fill this up, but they just let us fill it up. You just put like what you have and make sure you guys put you on the paper. Okay. okay. So they gave us all of this. We're going to put on every single piece of furniture. So you guys are going to have to do it. Okay, so you're going to get the packing number. Then you're going to write it down here. So one, two. Eight, six, two. Remember we told you guys we had 13 pieces? So this is number two out of 13. So that's what you guys want to do for every single one. So I'm just going to write all of them in and get back to you guys. Hey guys! Oh my god. Anyway, so we're done. In total we paid 370 for everything, okay? I did a vlog on my channel. If you haven't watched, I'm going to link it where I am moving down to Jamaica and I show a vlog style of everything that I did. So I would recommend this place and Mississauga. It's worth the drive. It's worth everything because for everything that I that we showed you, the 13 pieces, we only paid 370 At Love Parking, you guys have to see what I shipped down and they charged me like 590 I think it was, okay? And it was way less than that, okay? Way less. This company, you get your money's worth. They don't wait everything that you bring down. They just charge you a one set price and they can. They're really nice here. Like the guy was so funny. He's like, how he was talking to us for a long time after. He was saying that how Jamaicans are their biggest market here at this shipping company. He's saying that how two people just moved back last month and they bought two crates, two like trucks or crates from them. Like the big huge truck thing that they put everything in from them and shipped all this stuff back to Jamaica. Oh, containers, that's containers, mm -hmm. that's what they're called. He's saying that how last month alone to ship to Kingston, Jamaica, he did like six huge shipments. So you're saying like Jamaican people are in the biggest um, market here. And yeah, so I'm telling you guys, people are moving back to Jamaica. People are just shipping stuff down. And this is the place. If you're in Ontario, come here. Come to Mississauga. 
and work with them. They're very polite. They give you your privacy. As you guys have seen, it was me and my mom majority of the time. And they're safe. It's big here. No one's watching you. They're very, like, relatable. They're nice. They're going to be linked down below. Their number is going to be linked down below. And their location is going to be linked down below. They're not Jamaican, the people that own this place. I think they're, like, Guyanese or Trini. I can't tell, to be honest. It may be Trini. I forgot to ask him. Where's the Trini flag? I said. Yeah, so that's it for today's video. Again, you guys pack your stuff from home, but if you don't have the time, you can always pack it here. We have a packing area which we, where we were in. If you guys want to watch my walk video, I'm going to link it so you guys can watch it. You guys can see the process of me picking up the items from Jamaica and the process I went through. So you guys, I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.